Assalamualaikum dear students all of you know about that in the previous class we have discussed photoreceptor and its two part that is sclera and choroid and today we are coming to our to discuss the uh, third and the most layer that is retina okay first coming to the definition of the photoreceptor so all of you know about the photoreceptor that uh, receptor receptor which perceive light is called photo receptor and we have already discussed the three layer of the uh, eye that is sclera uh, second one our pass hai choroid third one hai retina and we have already discussed in the previous class that sclera is the outermost tough white layer the outermost outer most tough white layer hai which protect the eye from the outside environment okay this now this layer is also called a uh, muscular layer muscular layer choroid uh, the layer which give color to the eye is known as choroid uh, actually choroid is also called muscular uh, vascular layer vascular layer uh, so coming toward the retina today our topic is retina the most important the most important layer this is known as nervous layer nervous layer uh, the retina contain photoreceptor cell and neuron iska matlab ye hai ki retina ke andar two types of receptor hai a uh, photoreceptor a uh, plus neuron what the type of neuron is known as optic nerve or optic neuron optic neuron or nerve all of you know about photoreceptor which receive light so <clears throat> there are two type of photoreceptor cell that is known as uh, rods and cones rods plus cones okay uh, rod actually rod perceive dim light rod perceive dim light and it give the color of an object it give the image of an object but without color it will it give the image of an object but without color without color okay a uh, cone perceive intense light as simply we can say bright light bright light and it is responsible for visualizing color cones are responsible for visualizing visualizing color means it is responsible for the image of an object with color okay a rat contain pigment that is known as rhodopsin rats contain pigment rat contain pigment that pigment is known as rhodopsin okay 
one of seen uh the body prefer the road of seen from the vitamin a vitamin a if the if there is deficiency of vitamin a in the body then the body cannot prepare out of scene so that condition lead to the night blindness night blindness okay uh, the cones also contain a uh, pigment uh, that pigment is known as adopsin cone also contain pigment that is known as adopsin adopsin there are three types of cones uh, each type is responsible for uh, red color other responsible for uh, green color while third one is responsible for blue color okay uh, when all cones are equally stimulated uh, so actually it produce a uh, bright light combination of all cones produce what bright color or bright light okay now coming toward the povea now coming toward the povea and the optic nerve povea and optic nerve optic nerve and you are okay agar hum dekh diagram mein so this is known as optic nerve optic nerve which uh, send the information from the retina toward the brain okay this is known as retina this portion of the eye is known as retina which is the third innermost layer retina uh, this portion is known as povea as shown in the diagram povea present opposite to the lens at the back side uh, here uh, the cones are densely packed cones are densely packed this is present in the form of a blind spot present in the form of blind spot okay this portion of the eye is known as iris this is known as iris iris actually a color portion hai iris kya hai color part of the eye while this is known as this point is known as pupil and all of you know about the pupil that a pupil uh, we can say responsible for the light entering into the eye means in the dim light the size of the pupil is a uh, uh, increase means in dim light in dim light the size of the pupil is a uh, increase to see the object clearly while in the intense light means in the intense light are the bright light the size of the pupil is decrease to prevent or to protect the eye okay this part is known as lens ye kya hai this is known as lens ye lens hai okay behind the pupil lens is present which is uh, we can say combined by what by suspensory ligament or ciliary body ciliary body okay this portion is known as cornea a cornea hai a cornea hai okay these are the blood vessel or we can say nerve okay 
okay at the pubia uh, the cones are densely packed where the resolution is the greatest this is the point where the resolution is the greatest okay what is the resolution okay ek magnification hai aur ek resolution hai ability of the eye by which it differentiate two nearly object is known as resolution ability of eye by which it differentiate two closely object is called what is resolution okay, coming toward the two chamber that is known as aqueous chamber and vitreous chamber are aqueous humor humor and vitreous humor vitreous humor okay uh, a chamber is present between the lens and the cornea that chamber is known as aqueous chamber agar hum dekhe so ye cornea hai aur ye lens hai so actually the chamber between the lens and the cornea is known as aqueous chamber lens our cornea ke maven area between the cornea and the lens here a chamber is present that chamber is known as aqueous chamber inside the aqueous chamber a fluid is present that fluid is known as a, what aqueous humor while uh, the chamber between the co- between the lens and the retina is known as a vitreous chamber and a fluid is present inside what the aqueous inside the vitreous chamber vitreous chamber chamber present between the uh, lens and between the what uh, retina this chamber is known as vitreous chamber and the fluid between the vitreous chamber is known as vitreous humor vitreous humor okay this was all about uh, the structure of the human eye inshallah in the next class we will discuss the next topic okay thank you